Is your gym tight and you don't have a lot of room to do walking lunges? I'm gonna give you some alternatives for that. All right, guys and girls, one of my clients, he said, Chris, I'm traveling. The gym I'm at doesn't have a lot of space to do lunges. What do you want me to do? Because I have walking lunges built into his program. And if you watch this video, you know how fortunate I am at Elite to either have this walkway or this back parking lot. Then we're gonna have to find a way to get creative because not all gyms have an open space that you can lunge in where if you pan around here, you have to get creative. And we have to stick with stationary options, meaning things that you aren't actually moving through space, but we're still gonna be able to work the quad, hamstring, and glute. So what I thought I'd do today is give us a bunch of different alternatives and variations to this so that we can still get our lunging in, but we're in a gym where we can't do walking lunges and it's tight and cramped. So, you know, being a tight and cramped gym may sound bad, but the good news about that is it's loaded with good equipment. So it's not a downside. I know a lot of people look at it and think, oh, Chris, like your gym is really tightly packed. Well, yeah, hell yeah, it is. He's, every piece in here is hand selected to make bodybuilders the best. So if you have a bunch of dead space, to me, that's where we could shove equipment into. <laughs> so. It's not a downside, guys. We just have to find alternative ways to lunge, which is here why I love going outside and doing all my lunges. But again, that isn't always conducive because you know it gets cold here in Virginia. So if it's 20 degrees, I'm not lunging outside. I'm gonna tear a quad. So let me show you some alternatives and we'll get you growing and progressing today. The first one is gonna be a split stance lunge. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my feet spread apart. And now if you wanna hit your quad or your glute, it's gonna be different, right? So remember, knee over toe, quad, knee over ankle, glute. But for today, I'm just gonna show you somewhere in the middle. So what I want you to think about here is if I had to do 25 lunges, I'm just here, up and down, pumping. Now, you could also do alternating. So here, lunge, lunge, and you just switch right, left, right, left. So the reverse lunge, I'm just gonna step back and then up. I'm gonna stay on that one leg and just reverse lunge, just like that. So there are your three alternatives. You can alternate, you can split stance, or you can re reverse lunge. All right, so next up is gonna be a deficit lunge, which is really gonna work the lengthening position or getting more range of motion. So if you don't have a deadlift platform, not a big deal. You can just do this on a bumper plate or any plate or any kind of raised platform. So all we're gonna do is go down and just pump. And then all those same lunging principles apply. We could alternate, we could do reverse, or we did like I just did there, which is the split stance lunge. So if you wanna increase the range of motion, we would do it in a deficit. All right, and final thing here, if you wanna do some weighted lunges, which by the way, anything I just demoed here, you could hold dumbbells or put chains around your neck and still do if you wanted the weight component. But let's say you really wanted to push the weight on this. I would simply just come over to a Smith machine and I would do my lunges stationary. I did this for years under John's programming and it felt great. So let me show you what a couple of those reps look like. For me, I'm not gonna put my arms back, I'm gonna brace on the Smith machine. And then again, I'm just gonna split stance and up. And I'm still crushing that hamstring and glute, just like that. And there you have it, guys. Don't have a place to lunge. Don't make the excuse of not doing them. It is a great exercise. I love bullying split squats, I love lunges. Anything that's gonna make the leg work independently, I'm a huge fan of. So keep these in there. Even if your gym isn't optimally set up for it, and it's perfectly fine. So again, I gave you plenty of opportunities and alternatives or substitutions to that problem. So take them, apply them, and get growing a bigger set of legs today. Like, share, subscribe, because I'm a CV.